Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First things first, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Uh, it just kind of came and it went and I missed, <laughs> I missed the moment when it actually happened. Um, but I'm so incredibly happy that so many of you have decided to join my channel uh, that you know you you want to support me and you want to watch my content it means so incredibly much to me so yeah thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart i really 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 appreciate it anyway let's move on to what this video is actually about uh today we're going to be doing a makeup look the look that you can see on my face. I'm going to try and do my best and recreate this stunning, stunning makeup look. This is um, by the makeup artist Merton Moiremi Makeup. I'm so sorry that I'm butchering the name, but I honestly have like, uh, that's, that's the best I could do, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, he created this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous makeup look. And um, this wasn't actually even my idea. This was sent to me by Rose. Some of you may remember her from like um, videos from the past, if you've been following my channel for a longer period of time. So she was actually the one who sent me this makeup look and said that, you know, you would, this would look really, really great on you. Try and recreate this look. And that's what this video is all about. Uh, in all honesty, this is my second time doing this exact same look because the first time I filmed it, well, let's just say that when I started editing it, I realized that there was no way that I could actually use the footage. So here I am filming it again. And uh, I have to say, I think this time I much, much, much prefer the look that turned out. So it's kind of a win-win. Yeah, um, that's it. I'm not going to blabber on any longer. If you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Um, I'm first going to um, apply the eyeshadow primer potion by Urban Decay because I need to prep my eyelids for those very, very, very strong colors. I also have the NYX Under Eye uh, Dark Circle Concealer. Dark Circle Concealer in the shade medium underneath my eyes as well. Um, but I think we'll just jump straight into the eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use the same shades that I did last time. I kind of worked out the system already or kind of the dupes that I was going to use. Um, the first one being the shade Pukey. I'm going to start off with that and I'm going to start creating the outer rim, if you can see. Um, the outer area is kind of that light warm brown, so I'm going to put that down first. And I'm of course again taking it fairly high up and kind of blowing it out as well because on the model, um, if you can see, the eye is kind of is kind of elongated and like drawn out um, to create that kind of cat eyeish effect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that as well. So that's why I'm dragging it out towards my brow. It's kind of it's actually hidden. Like if you look. Closely. Um, you don't really see the lighter brown all too much. There's just a very, very um, faint little halo around um, the whole eye look. So um, the majority of the shades are that, well, obviously that turquoise in the middle that you can see, but also the darker brown and the black at the edges. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to start on the dark brown, naturally. Um, and for that, I'm going to take the shade Mocha because it's again that warm toned brown um, that we're after. And I'm going to start building it up on the outer edges. And then I'm taking the previous, no, <laughs> taking the previous brush and just lightly blending over. And then I'm going to start working on the inner corner. And then I'm going to connect these two parts and at first I'm holding the brush very lightly because I I don't want to drag the skin I don't want to create like um, streaks or these weird marks in the eyeshadow so I'm being very very light with the pressure 
Okay, so the outer rim is pretty much done. So now I'm going to start working on the main part, which is that beautiful, stunning, vibrant turquoise. Well, the, okay, so the thing is, I'm not sure what this um, makeup artist used to actually create this look. I couldn't find any details of the eye look. I have no clue whether, like, he actually had a very vibrant, um, like a pigment, like a shimmery pigment shade, um, whether there's some kind of glitter used on top, although it doesn't really look like glitter all that much, or it could be um, Photoshop, like um, just photo enhancement, if you know what I mean. So I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to try and uh, recreate it as best as I can. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to use these two shades, um, Jada and Pool Party, because Pool Party just by itself is just too blue, so I need to use the shade Jada underneath to make it more of that turquoise tone. And also I'm going to apply some of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Glam Rock on top, um, just the tiniest bit to create that very, very sparkly effect that you can see. First, as I said, I'm going to take the shade Jada. Beautiful, beautiful tone. But because I'm packing it on with my finger, it is, of course, going to fall on my cheeks a bit, which is fine. And I'm also kind of trying to, trying to blend it out a bit with the tip of my finger. And I'm going to go over top with the shade Jada. No, sorry, Pool Party. Ugh. Okay, and I'm also going to take the previous brush and start blending the edges a bit. Well, it's similar. It's not the same, but it's 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 somewhat similar. So as you can see, the black eyeliner is traced all the way around um, the lash line. Then it's taken into the actual inner corner, into the tear duct as well. And then I do feel like there's a bit of like black eyeshadow uh, on the outer V as well. You probably won't be able to see very well. But it does seem to be like darker on this area, so I am going to add a bit of black as well. The last time I didn't. It just looked a bit lighter than the actual image, so I'm going to add the black this time. But first I need to line the eye. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. Now this is a waterproof one, so um, smudging it out, you need to be really quick. So I am going to use a bit of black as well to create that deeper part on the outer V area. It doesn't seem to me that the outer V is like super black, it's not overly dark, it's it's just um, smoked up a bit. So that's what I'm gonna do as well. And obviously we'll have lashes and then, you know, it's going to add some more um, drama as well to the eyes. But uh, yeah, I'm going to add a bit of the black. So I'm going to take the shade Abyss, the super, super black one from the palette. I have to be very careful with this one so that I wouldn't go overboard. I'm going to take a bit of the shade Mocha again and add that to the outer V. And I'm also just going over the inner corners a bit. So that's what we're left with um, at the moment. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to finish up um, the eyes as much as I can. So I'm going to use the Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner, as I said, um, by Urban Decay in the shade Glam Rock. And last time I kind of went overboard, so this time I'm trying to be more cautious with it. I'm just um, putting a bit on the, can you even see? I'm putting a bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to use my finger to dab little itsy bitsy bits of glitter on my eye. Yeah, I should reapply the NYX under eye um, concealer as well because I kind of wiped it away as I was reading, getting rid of the um, fallout. And I, I don't really have um, the kind of lashes that the model is wearing because, well, I don't actually even know which lashes she's wearing, but um, they are kind of long and um, almost like doe-eyed, like um, very fluffy 
and also very flayed out, but they're not very thick. And I don't really have those. So I'm just gonna have to use what I have. And what I do have is the Doll Lash. Um, this is like a trio in collaboration with Beauty Bay or exclusively for Beauty Bay, I don't know. Anyway, um, so there's this trio of lashes by Doll Beauty. And I'm going to go with the first one, which is in the style Eva or Ava however you want to pronounce it. And I'm also going to, of course, coat my lashes first and I'm using the Paradise Ecstatic Waterproof Mascara by L'Oreal as always. So let's do that quickly and then we can move on to the face makeup. So the lashes are on and I honestly have to say, I think it looks a lot more similar this time around. But now when we start looking at the face makeup, honestly, I don't really like, there's nothing too outstanding, um, like no elements are really heavily emphasized. She does have very glossy lips. Um, there's a bit of highlighter, which uh, if you look closely, interestingly enough, is not in the inner corner. The inner corners are not highlighted whatsoever. There's a lot of highlighter right on the highest point of the cheek. Um, there's also some on the nose, on the tip of the nose, and then on the chin. So I'm going to highlight the same areas, like mostly she just looks very like fresh, very dewy, and there's a lot of blush, a lot of blush, <laughs> which I don't normally ever wear. If you've been following my channel, you know I don't really wear blush ever, but uh, we're gonna have to do it for this one. I'm gonna start with a um, foundation, like I normally do, with a foundation mix. So I'm going to mix together the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Dovey and the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in the shade Vanilla. Time for some concealer. Now, I think that the, yeah, the model is not wearing um, uh, a very light concealer. The, the face and the under eye area look kind of the same color, which is very good for me because I kind of prefer, I prefer that kind of look anyway. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. I'm going to just use my regular Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 22N Light Neutral because this is the most um, high coverage thing that I have. So now that the under eye concealer is all blended in, I'm going to start working on the brows. And um, by the picture, it seems that the brows are kept quite natural, um, just I think it's like penciled in, um, just following the model's natural eye shape or like eyebrow shape. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with the Catrice Eyebrow Stylist Eye Pencil or Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Date with Ashton. The brows are done, I think I'm just going to leave them um, like this. And now I'm going to sit underneath my eyes. And because, well again, I don't have any details on the actual makeup look, I'm just gonna set them with my usual combo, the Too Faced Ethereal Sitting Powder and my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the shade Warm Light. Okay, so now that the under eyes are all set, I'm going to um, finish my face makeup actually before I start moving on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the blush and I'm going to do the highlighter. So let's start with the blush because I'm going to use my uh, Color Caramel Bio Organic Twist and Blush in the shade number 42. It's this like, blush stick, which you can also use as a, um, as a lipstick. It's so like nice and natural looking. So I'm going to start applying that on my cheeks. As it is a cream product, I want to put that down first. And as you can see, the blush is actually quite low down. So I'm going to concentrate it on this area, on like the apple of my cheek. I don't think I've ever worn this much blush in my life. Uh, no, actually, when I was younger and I didn't really know how to apply makeup all that well, then I wore blush quite a bit. So that was probably worse, but <laughs> this is so weird for me. I'm honestly not used to wearing this much blush or wearing any blush for that matter. And 
going to make sure that everything blends in nicely. On camera you can barely see it, but in real life you can see it. <laughs> you can definitely see it. Okay, I'm going to um, move on to the uh, highlighter now. I'm going to apply the um, Mary Lou Manizer by The Balm, which is a classic, it's a cult favorite. So I figured it was perfect. And I'm just going to emphasize it on this spot. Um, I kind of feel like the whole nose is highlighted, but I don't want to I don't want to do that because that will make my nose really long um, So I'm just going to keep it over here and also the tiniest bit on the tip of the nose Again pushing it into the skin so that everything blends in nicely And and I am going to add a bit of, um, bra what am I saying, bronzer. I'm going to add a bit of bronzer as well. So I'm going to use my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula in the shade um, Deep Bronzer. But I'm going to add a very, very, very small amount because as I said, it doesn't look like the model is wearing too much bronzer. Just on the outer perimeters and also around the nose so that the highlighter wouldn't make it too big, you know? Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna lay off the bronzer now. Oh, and of course, I mean, I'm sorry. I just, I have to, I have to. Um, I'm gonna use a bit of the Givenchy Healthy Glow Powder as well in the shade number two. It's just a must for me. So I'm going to add a bit of, a bit of more life on my cheeks, but I'm literally just going to keep it in this area. Now that lower lash line is absolutely terrifying because this black eyeliner, it was already very difficult to do on the top lash, but I could cover it up with some falsies. Um, when it comes to the lower lash line, it doesn't even seem that the model is wearing any lower lash line mascara. So there's nothing to hide behind. It's very, very clear, very obvious. So I'm gonna do the, the whole eye, uh, eye, what am I trying to say? Eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm gonna do the whole eyeshadow thing first. So again, starting with the shade Puki, then going over top with the shade Mocha, and then going over top in the center part with um, Jada and Pool Party. And then um, adding a bit of that glittery liner as well. Again, just the tiniest bit so that it wouldn't be too much, you know? And, and then we're gonna top it off with the black liner. So wish me luck. Okay, my eyes are about to fall out of my head, so uh, <laughs> I want to finish this makeup look super, super quickly. So I'm going to um, do the lips because that's all that's left to do. As you can see, the lips are super glossy, um, kind of nude looking. Um, I don't really have like a milky lip gloss anymore, but I'm going to just do a very um, subtle glossy lip as, as best as I can. I'm going to use the Milani Moisture Matte Liquid Lip, not liquid, sorry, Moisture Matte Lipstick in the shade uh, Innocence. And I'm going to go over top with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. So that was my attempt um, creating or recreating, I should say, the beautiful, beautiful makeup look by, um, let me try and pronounce the name as, Merton Moiremi makeup. I'm so sorry that I'm absolutely butchering the name, but yeah, um, this was this was how it turned out on me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know how you think I did, uh, and you know, be honest. Uh, don't be too harsh, <laughs> because obviously I have no clue what the actual products were that the makeup artist used, so I just used what I had at my disposal. But um, anyway, let me know. And also let me know what you would like to see in um, like my future videos. Tell me what you wanna see and I'll do my best to oblige. So that's, that's it really. There's nothing left for me to say. I am going to 
go and wash this makeup off my face now so uh, thank you so much for watching this video i'm gonna go but um i really appreciate all of you being here and i'm looking forward to the next time that i see you guys so in the meantime please take care of yourselves and i hope to see you very very soon bye bye